You guys ever run into a thug that tries to use words that he just made up himself? <laughs> That's right, she couldn't get pregnant, so she tried to do that, um, uh, in vitro, uh, extra contrification. <clears throat> the hell, this fool just make up a word? I don't know. Now recently I read an article about the CEO of Abercrombie stating that he doesn't like fat people wearing his clothes. Ooh. Why you ask? Apparently we're not cool enough to wear us some Abercrombie and bitch. What? You don't like fat people? Motherfucker, I'm about to titty suffocate you. <laughs> there are a million situations where it is ten times cooler to be fat than to be way too skinny. So y'all already know what it is. LGI baby, let's get it, let's go! Number one, at a buffet. When you're fat, you can eat everything at a buffet. Once. That's right, you know what us fat people call a buffet? A sampler platter, bitch. <laughs> Sucker, that's why skinny people be in the buffet like, I wonder what I should eat before I get full. I ain't never had that problem. That's why I be in the buffet like, I wonder what I'm gonna eat again. Let me tell you something, nobody wanna be skinny and go to a buffet. That's a waste of goddamn money. Here's some truth for you, when I go to a buffet, my mission is to get the restaurant owners to ban me for life. <laughs> you know the last time I was at Asian Buffet, the owner was in the corner talking shit about me to his employees, saying shit like, I oh, yeah, fat boy, why don't you go to hometown buffet? Number two, during winter. Then fuck your clothing, red. I don't need clothes. I'm fat, bitch. Bet you wish you had what I had. I got nature sweater, Abercrombie and Blubber. <laughs> Y'all ever notice during the winter time, all the fat kids become the most popular? Didn't like us before, but when it gets cold as shit, Y'all be huddling up to us for warmth. Every time I jiggle my big ass down the hall, all the girls be looking at me like, Hey, my God. Is that David Stowe? He is so fucking warm. At least the fact that when you cuddle up next to us, you got two chest pillows to knock the fuck out on. You ever see an anorexic teddy bear? That shit ain't cute. Number four. You have any idea how great it is to be fat in the wild? A hippo will kill you. A polar bear will kill you. A whale will kill you. A Snorlax is really hard to catch. <laughs> I never heard someone tell a polar bear he ain't cool because he got some blubber. He'll bite your goddamn nose off. Let me ask you something. When's the last time you saw a marine biologist look at a damn whale and be like, the fat ones aren't cool. Number three, fat people are a lot happier than skinny people. As Monique said, you know why skinny people are so mad? Because you hungry, baby. Whenever I'm hungry, I just snicker and be like, now, I don't hate fitness or the gym because keeping up with your body is a definite must. But there are some of you folks out there that take this working out shit to an extreme. I'm gonna run 26 miles for fun. Player, well, there are animals in the jungle that don't got it like that. Cause even a cheetah be like, no, fuck it. I don't know why you wanna wake up every day and hurt yourself on purpose to a schedule. <laughs> some of you dudes be at the gym for four to six hours a day. You need to go home and get your fucking life together. Unless your job has to do with fitness, I fail to see what a six pack has to do with your credentials. Cause you motherfuckers be like, so what are your qualifications? I have a six pack. Can you read? No, but I have a six pack. You can be pretty as you want wearing your Abercrombie on your zero dollar salary, motherfucker. I don't understand why you got such big biceps for when you work at a Jamba Juice. <laughs> do you realize you look hell out of place looking like a convict making a drink called a Mango Tango? Uh, who ordered a Mango Tango? You order a Ramatash? Pussy Bobble? I look like an idiot. In all seriousness, you, sir, are the very fucking problem my kids nowadays grow up with self-esteem issues because companies like yours perpetuate such a stupid-ass stereotype. Look, children don't need to worry about thinking that the way they look makes them less of a human being. It's a shitty thing nowadays that advertisers are the ones telling kids what makes them into a decent human being. You know, growing up and being a fat kid, I had to deal with a lot of this shit, too. When you are ostracized and a group of your peers basically tell you that you aren't good enough because of the way you look, it makes you feel like a piece of shit. You know what fat joke I hate that everybody made in the winter? Well, if we get snowed in with a fat person, we can eat him for survival. Ugh. Let me tell you something, if I was stranded on an island with your skinny ass, before you even think about eating me, I'm already chewing on your leg. Girl, just one look. You're so warm, blue eyes, that's all it took for me. Slow motion rollerblading. That's right, people. This is in real lifetime. 